Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a new way to sign into things that will blow your mind. It's called sign in with Apple. For the past 10 to 20 years, we've all used our email addresses as a container of sorts for how we make accounts online. We used our email address as a way to identify us. It's almost like an online ID. Think of it as a container. And as time progressed and we created more and more accounts, the container got larger and larger and started to overfill. We started using the same passwords, the same three passwords, maybe one with the caps, one not, one with your birthday, one with the number one and an exclamation point and cybersecurity kind of got thrown out the window. Another thing that was happening was things within the container started to use your email address as a way to track you throughout the internet and see which accounts you have and maybe even monetize your information, which is not good. This is where sign in with Apple comes in and saves the day. Sign in with Apple is a relatively new feature yet very underused. How it works is you sign in with your Apple ID using Touch ID, Face ID, or if you're on a non-Apple device you can log in using your entire Apple ID and password. And the best part about it, you don't have to remember all of those passwords that you probably wouldn't remember anyways. Another good thing about it is Apple has a feature on sign in with Apple called hide my email and what that does is apple will create a forwarding email service so that these accounts can't track you throughout the internet it'll say a combination of numbers and letters at appleid.apple.com instead of your actual email address i checked and apple uses a different forwarding email for every account you create thereby eliminating the ability to track you more and more companies are beginning to use this feature. Some companies have found that signing with Apple has actually increased their user rate. Privacy is a huge priority for Apple. So I really do trust Apple with the sign-in process much more than I do my email provider. So I'm going to create one with you guys just so you can see how it works. Right now I'm using sign-in with Apple for title and trivia crack. I love Trivia Crack, it's a sporadic thing, sometimes I pick it up and play it for like a week and then I'll just stop playing it. But if you want to play me, here's my username. And if I don't play you, I'm sorry, but I'll try. So I use it for Trivia Crack, Title, and maybe one more, I don't even remember. But I'm going to look up apps that use Sign In With Apple. So I'm going to have to find one that I don't already have an account with. Let's do Nerd Wallet. I kind of like Nerd Wallet. I always look at their blogs for credit cards and debit cards when I'm deciding whether I want to take on a new card I'll look at all the features and the reviews and I think they do a great job so let's do that and let's do signing with Apple just so you can see how it works okay so we're gonna open it all right so I'm gonna click sign up and continue with Apple I don't have to enter the email address password I don't have to fill out any of that information so we're continuing with Apple can change my name if I want and I'm gonna hide my email so it's gonna forward it to my email and that way they will not be able to track me not that they necessarily do it varies based on company I don't know what nerd wallets practices are but just the ability to not have to worry about that is very nice all right so you can learn about the credit cards which is what I've used nerd wallet in the past for and it looks like it's a pretty good app I don't know if I'll keep this app. I mean, I do look at credit cards, but I don't look at them that much. I just wanted to show you how it works. And if I wanted to remove that account, if I found that I wasn't using it, or if I just wanted to make one with my email address, I can go into settings. Then I would look up passwords and where it says password and security, click that. And then you click password and security again, and then you'll click apps using your Apple ID. So now I see Calm, oh that was the third one, Nerd Wallet, Title Music, and Trivia Crack. So say Nerd Wallet, I was like, yeah, I don't really need it. I can remove it. And I can also see the privacy policy to see what they do with my privacy. But I'm gonna click Stop Using Apple ID, and then it's just gonna get rid of the account. Stop using, boom, it's gone. So that's how simple it is. It really is simple. I use the entire Apple ecosystem, Apple Watch, iPhone, 
Mac. So I rarely ever venture out of that, but just the question came in my head. What if I really wanted to access one of the accounts I made with sign in with Apple and I wasn't on an Apple device? Say a work computer is a PC. So I could still sign in online using my Apple ID. So that just completely eliminates that concern and it's just as simple as signing in because you would use your email address and password. So you really don't have to worry about not using Apple devices as well. It's very secure. It's much more secure than using your email address and a combination of the same passwords, your mother's birthday, your dog, that is over. You don't have to remember that anymore. You don't have to look at all of those password managers. I mean, it's not completely over, but it's a step in the right direction. And next year, with iOS 14 coming out, Apple will release an update to sign in with Apple where you can actually change accounts that you made with your email to sign in with Apple, making them more secure and eliminating the need to remember all of those passwords. Not every company, app, or website has the sign in with Apple capabilities, but a lot of them are starting to. So it's a step in the right direction. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite thing about signing with Apple or any questions you might have. I'm here to answer them. And if you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. I post a new video every Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Peace.